Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your Capital Market Report. Today is Tuesday, March 4th, 2008. Newmont Mining made this $400 million worth of shares in its Indonesian gold and copper mine in a move to protect itself from local rival booming resources. The Financial Times reports that Indonesia has threatened to end Newmont's contract and take control of the $4.7 billion Batu Hijal mine if Newmont does not sell its 10% stake to regional governments this week. Newmont CFO Russell Ball told the FT on Sunday the U.S. company needs to look into alternatives. And in deal news, after months of negotiations, Vivendi's Universal Music Group has agreed to acquire the Univision Music Group, including its music report, uh, recording and publishing division. Although financial details were not revealed by the companies, the Washington Post cites an unnamed source who says Universal paid about $100 million for the music unit. Universal, which according to SouthScan has 36% of the U.S. music market, agreed to pay about $100 million for Univision Music, according to a Thompson Financial source familiar with the deal. Also in deal news, Diebold's board has unanimously rejected United Technologies Corporation's $2.6 billion, unsolic uh, billion dollar unsolicited takeover offer. The company turned down the bid, saying it significantly undervalues the company, reports Thompson Financial. Diebold says its board believes that now is not the right time and that it would not be in the best interests of the corporation or its shareholders to pursue discussions with UTC. Diebold's non-executive chairman, John Lauer, said in a statement the board strongly believes that UTC's proposal significantly undervalues undervalues the company and fails to reflect Diebold's strengths and significant upside potential. UTC's proposal is an opportunistic attempt to buy Diebold at a time when shareholders do not have sufficient data to evaluate the offer and as such, the board believes that it would be irresponsible to engage in discussions with UTC at this time. United Technologies offered $40 a share for Diebold, which provides automated self-service transaction systems, electronic and physical security systems. In other deal news across the pond, European entertainment giant Vivendi indicated that it will temporarily freeze its acquisition uh, spree. The Financial Times reports, although Jean-Bernard Levy, Vivendi's CEO, said the company would continue to look for opportunities, he said Vivendi would not seek any big purchases in 2008. The news came as the company announced financial results, results for 2007. Vivendi revealed a mixed performance of its divisions with pay TV operator Canal Plus, Vivendi Games, and African Telecom's assets, seeing growth in sales and profit. However, SFR, its mobile phone division, recorded a 2.6% fall in earnings before tax and amortization. And that rounds out today's Capital Markets Report. Thanks for joining us on AMI.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on our Capital Markets channel online and read the latest developments.